In this video, I will show you how to add WooCommerce product grid to the home page of your online store. I will specifically show you how to add WooCommerce product grid in Elementor. And this is what we will achieve by the end of this tutorial. So, if you want to add WooCommerce product grid to the home page of your online store, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So this is the website where I want to add WooCommerce product grid to. To do that, I'm going to install an additional plugin. So I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. And the search plugins are search for premium add-ons. I have premium add-ons for Elementor here. This plugin will add additional widgets to the Elementor page builder. I click on install now. It is installed. I activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. Next, I go to the front end of my website. Then I go ahead and edit my home page with Elementor. Inside the Elementor editor, you can go ahead and add your product grid to whichever location you want. Going down, this is the location I want to add mine in between this image section and the testimonial section. So I click on the plus icon right here and I go ahead and add a new section. And I'm going to select a single column structure. Before I move forward, I go over to advanced and I'm going to go ahead and add a pattern at top and at bottom. So I go ahead and unlink the values. Top, I make it 100. Bottom, I make it 100 as well. Next, I go over to widgets and I'm going to go ahead and add in a heading widget. I center it and I go ahead and enter in my text here. Take note, whatever heading you give here will depend upon the kind of product you want to display. It can be latest products, featured products, best selling products or sale products. So I call my recent products. Next, I go over to widgets again and I search for Woo products. And I have Woo products widgets right here and make sure you see PA here, which is premium add-ons. So we are getting this particular widget from the premium add-ons for Elementor. I go ahead and drag it and drop it under my heading. And the product will show right here. Perfect. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. Let's go ahead and look at the settings. First, we have general where we have skin, layout, and image size. At the moment, it is using skin 1. You can choose from skin 2, 3, 4, and 5. The rest of them are in the pro version of the plugin. So let's see how skin 2 will come up. So with skin 2, you see the name of the product, categories, ratings, price, and add to cart upon hover. You see that. Let's check skin 3. Skin 3 similar to skin 1. I go to skin 4. With skin 4, you see the display options in the middle of the product image upon hover. Awesome. Let's check skin 5. This is how skin 5 will look like. If your product is having more than one image, the second image will be displayed right here. You see that. Perfect. In this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use skin 2. Perfect. Next is layout. Currently, it is grid. You can also use carousel. And this is how carousel will come up. You can scroll to see the rest of the products. And upon choosing carousel as your layout, you see carousel options. So from here, you can decide to show arrows or not. You see that the arrows are gone. You can also go ahead and toggle off show dots. That is right here. In here, you go ahead and set the number of products. Product to show per slide is 3. 
maybe i want it to be four and you can also go ahead and set it to auto play perfect i don't want to use carousel so i go back to general and i change the layout to grid next i go to grid settings and the number of columns i want to make it four products by page i'll change it to four and I also have the opportunity to add load more button right here. And I can customize the button text right here. Perfect. I can align it. But I don't want to use load more button. I toggle it off. Next, I go over to query. First is source and my source is all products. I also have advanced fields. I can filter by featured or sale. So this is where the title you'll be specifying in here will come in handy. So if you want to display featured products, you can enter the title as featured products. In my case, I just want to display recent products, so I don't choose any filter in here. You can also enable pagination if you want, but this is not important in this instance, so I don't do anything here. Next, I go to display options. This is where you decide which items you want to be displayed when people hover on your products. So we have the title, category, ratings, and price. In this instance, I don't need category as well as rating. I only need title and price. You can go ahead and add more items as you want, but for this tutorial, I'll leave these two. Awesome. This looks clean. Next is alignment. So I take it to left. You see that. All right. I'll leave it as center. You can also go ahead and customize the quick view sales slash featured ribbon and then out of stock ribbon next i go over to style in here you can go ahead and style up everything you have on your product grid for instance if i go to the title in here i can change the color of the title maybe to this green perfect i only want to change the color of the add to cart button so i go over to add to cart here the normal color i go to background type and i choose classic in here i choose this green perfect i can also change the hover color i go to background type classic and i can choose this color right here perfect as you can see my cell badge is not displaying perfectly well so i can go over to seal ribbon and i'll go ahead and change the color to green awesome and that's all the settings i want to do i'll go ahead and update my page let's take a look going down i have my product grid right here awesome maybe i can add in a background color so that it will stand out very well so i go back to elementor and i'm going to go ahead and apply it to the whole section so i click on edit section right here Next, I go over to style. Under background type, I choose classic and I'm going to go ahead and choose white. Perfect. Now this looks better. I update the page. Let's take a look. Perfect. So that's it on how to add WooCommerce product grid in Elementor. Alright guys, I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you are not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one.